Hello again everyone and welcome to my channel, it's Maxim with another video on Top War and this time I'm going to talk about World Boss. And so basically what World Boss is, as you can see, it spawns three times a day, depending on your time zone it's gonna be different times. For me it's, you know, like 6 a.m., 10 p.m. and 2, 2 p.m. or, you know, 26 and 14. And uh, basically it spawns three times a day and you get rewards based on different things. The one thing is, like, that's uh, basically uh, the best uh, ranking that your uh, alliance did, had. Like, it counts the total alliance, uh, the de total damage of uh, all the alliances on each of these things. And basically, uh, you get the reward for the best ranking that your alliance had. So actually there can be three different alliances, each getting level one, like, you know, rank one rewards, but, you know, that usually won't happen because one of them is usually gonna be stronger than the others and so on. So the other thing is then you get the rewards for attacking it and X amount of times. It doesn't, you know, matter how well you do or how badly you do. These rewards are kind of at this point, uh, this server has been running for two months. So it's not really important anymore at this point. And, uh, you know, so, yeah. Uh, what also, uh, so that, that doesn't really matter anymore. But in the beginning of the game, getting an extra component chest can be nice and, you know, like or for completely free-to-play players, even the gems can be sort of nice, I guess, but it, co it does cost you 5 vitality every time you attack it. And then you have the ranking rewards, and these are again going to be based on like how well you do the best time during that day. Uh, as you can see, like there's three kind of strong people at the moment here who spent way more than me on this game, they got better skins and so on, so I'm actually not gonna be able to beat them, and also I don't have enough time to actually do 5 attacks because, you know, I'm kind of left this uh, kind of late. I'm just going to have to switch. I'm just gonna bring my best, uh, you know, my best damage. Mm, I'm just gonna fix this for the March size. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna send the attack. No, wait, first I'm gonna do just to show you uh, why, I'm, you know, Amalia is nice. Actually, no, I'm gonna send it like this. I'm gonna send it like this. And I will show you, mm, it's gonna take two minutes to reach there. And I'm, uh, in the meantime, in those two minutes, I'm going to show you uh, how, uh, which components to use. Actually, I'm going to speed it up uh, so we can do more than one attack or more than two attacks. Okay. Uh, so here are your components in your arsenal. You can obviously move your arsenal to the other, to the other, you know, to the other island to make space later on when you open that island. I don't do that because... I'm kind of used to having the uh, the buildings that I actually use most uh, close to the center of the base when I open it. So you know that's just an off-topic thing. So I'm gonna show you. So this is basically this is basically the setup that everyone on the internet and on Discord and so on is gonna tell you that you want to use for the bosses. And this is true. Once you get to a uh, high enough level, and basically all the people who are telling you what to do are gonna be level 80. And you know like this is this is the setup that you want to use. Uh, once your level and your base HP of your units and the uh, other, you know, plus HP stats are high enough. Yes, that's true. But basically, the, don't listen to what they tell you. If you are under level, I think it was 63 or something, until 65 maybe even, it's gonna, well, basically up to level 60, it's gonna be much better to use it like this. Uh, and like to, um, I didn't have them stacked the same way, but basically well, the only difference here is that I'm using an armor buff here. I'm using an armor buff instead of a crit damage buff and the reason why I'm doing that is that basically when you attack I'm, yeah, I'm gonna show you okay I'm gonna show you like this actually with the right one or uh, it probably did hit with the right one I'm guessing I'm gonna show you uh, what happened yeah like it it hit um, the boss and I had like 45.4 T it's you know not bad not amazing I guess but uh, what what happened here is that basically by the end of the by the end of the match by the end of the you know by the end of the fight with the marshal uh it killed 7% of my ships as you can see like uh, the the marshal is going to do very low it's going to do very low damage it it does very low damage to you it, as you can see it just hits you for a kind of low amount of damage that's the reason that we do not use high f rate of fire because it doesn't matter you just do 36 rounds with it or something like 30 something rounds. I think it's 36 base, base amount unless you have like other things that influence it to give you more rounds. So you just, you know, like you, it, it, it won't kill your units at this level anymore anyways. But if uh, you are lower level, 
it's not gonna kill seven, uh, seven, you know, percent of your units by the time you're done with it. It's easily gonna kill. It's easily gonna kill like fifty percent of your units. So basically, that's gonna be a twenty-five percent decrease on your total damage, since half of you know, like, uh, basically the the amount of damage is gonna reduce from you. You can you can count that by uh, dividing the final amount of uh, lost units by half. So if half your units die, that means that, uh, you know, like they were dying slowly over time. So basically you lost quarter of the damage. And so that's the reason why you will want to use uh, this. If you are lower level than level 60, then you want to use uh, uh, armor buff for sure. Because, to you know, like the extra HP from this, it's, it's a lot of HP. Like it's 200%. So basically, and you know, like I have other stats as well, like um, when you check my navy, navy HP, my total navy HP now with it is 361%. So basically it's increasing by like, you know, the actual HP of my ships increases to about double or something, let's say. You know, that's like, a, that's kind of, you know, an estimate and it's not uh, accurate, but you know what I mean. So basically, if you check it now, I only lost 5% of my units. And you know, there is some RNG also involved and so on. And you see my damage actually dropped a bit because I am high enough level for this to not be worth it anymore. And the crit damage would actually outweigh this, the reduction of the loss of the ships. Uh, but yes, just if you if, if you were a lower level, you would see that it is much better. Just do not do not trust the images online. They are the right, but only for like max level people. Now I'm gonna just show you the fanatic paint as well. And um, one moment, what do I want? Oh yeah, and I want, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna switch again to the proper setup. And then while while we wait for the attack to reach it, I'm gonna talk some more about why uh, the damage and so on, like why people use what they use. So basically, what I'm using for that attack is my Nimitz and my Amalia. It's my two highest, you know, like highest level units, and they also increase the damage and so on. But uh, the thing is, I could be using uh, Katyusha and Amalia, for example. Like, Katyusha is totally awesome uh, for the boss, for any single target. Katyusha is absolutely insane because, like, she, she will just, you know, barrage it and all the hits will hit the boss, and it's, it's amazing. But... Uh, I am not for one thing. I'm not, you know, full army, uh, full land. I'm playing navy as main, and uh, when you play navy, your suppression works. So if you check the suppression, uh, this basically means my suppression means that uh, I can't see it. It won't show now. But yeah, like this. You can see that uh, all my navy damage, like my you know navy damage to land uh, enemies, is going to be increased by seventy eight percent after this upgrade finishes. It's gonna be by seventy nine percent. So that's uh, like why why I would need to have you know like mm, I would need to have so strong army to be able to beat this thing, like beat this extra damage and the extra damage reduction. This damage reduction also matters because, you know, like, otherwise the boss would kill not just, like, 5% with the HP, but uh, still would be killing, my, like, 15% of my units by the end of it. But, yes, like, so, yeah, suppression is why uh, Navy has an advantage over land on the boss and some other things like droid and so on. And until you are very strong in land and have three heroes and so on, basically when you have Katyusha plus another hero which increases the the attack of your land units, then you can beat Navy. And that's what's gonna happen, like if you actually saw the top guy on the server there, on the boss, uh, he would have done, he does like, I don't know, he, do, he does like 20 times my damage, but that's because he's level 80, has, you know, Valhalla units and uh, three heroes and so on. But yes, like in general, like on the boss, on the boss uh, army can beat navy but you need to have it you need to have uh, you need to have your uh, army attack increased by a lot and basically the there is no base no basic hero in the game increases your army attack there is uh, you own only only heroes which do increase army attack are basically paid heroes so it's amalia which works for all the all the you know kinds of units it's uh, gonna be Villiers, who is air, but also works for all kind of units. And then you have um, 
then you have where is she then you have uh, ben who increases the attack for uh, land and then you have i believe katrina also works for all of them i think no it's only navy okay never mind but uh, bell i guess the other bell like i mean bell not ben yeah bell bell also no okay but uh, bell bell is also very good basically but uh, basically the heroes that I don't have are heroes you have to pay for and um, with the exclusion of Basil and Amalia who I do have. And yeah. I'm just gonna show one more thing and that is I'm gonna show the damage difference between uh, having the buff and not having the buff from paint. This actually seems to be a very small difference this time, but I guess that's all, you know, it's always a lot, of, this is always a lot of RNG if you did get crit, didn't get crit. But as you can see here, uh, you will be able to see the suppression somewhere here. I'm not sure now. I think, yeah, Navy Army Death Bonus, Navy Army Damage Bonus. Yeah, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be from suppression and this is gonna be from suppression so you definitely do, um, do not want to use uh, airplanes to attack the boss because you know like or actually it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have the suppression but you know what i mean like maybe just gets bonus and land has the best single target heroes so but yeah uh, there's you can also see his 15 percent uh, uh, increased attack against world boss uh, that is from this from a decoration that you get fairly early in the game I believe it's from VIP 1 or something. I'm not sure now even how you get it, but you get it very soon. No, it's not VIP 1, but not VIP 2. I'm not sure now where I got it, but it's called, it's like the boss killer. I think maybe it was a limited time, like offer for $1 or something like that. Um, it doesn't really matter later on, I guess, because the word, the word boss rewards don't matter as much anymore. But they do kind of matter if you are new to the server and if it's a new server and you are new to the game. Then, you know, yeah, like, if you are able to stay on the top three, yeah, like, at least once, a day, you know, like, yeah, so if you're able to do that, then you will be getting, like, some nice extra components every day, every day. so, yeah. Although, one more uh, additional note, if you are able to be in the top three, it might be nice if you only, attack, if you pick one of the world boss spawns each day and do all your attacks on that one, because... Otherwise, you're just gonna block the rewards for other people as well because you can get the rewards for for first place, and you can you can theoretically get first place three times a day, but you'll only get the reward once, and you'll be taking the top rewards from uh, two other people. So you know, like I mean, like if you want to do that on purpose, I guess fine. If you want to make it harder for them to get rewards, if you are highly competitive and so on. But if you are if you want to be nice, then just you know attack the boss. Uh, once a day, not not three times, not all three spawns. And that's gonna be about it, I think. And uh, um, you know, hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, like if you if you find my videos helpful, please subscribe. And uh, good luck, have fun. Until the next one.